Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a simple dialogue. And I don't mean the simple dialogue because the dialogue is going to be simple. Simple dialogue is an actual class that's built into Flutter. Basically, something that pops up, gives you a title, gives you, you know, a few options. You can select them and it does something. But it's, you know, very simple. The customization is very minimal. But it's a great way of, you know, giving the user some extra options. And potentially could be used maybe... Maybe the user's exiting somewhere. You could have a pop up and saying, you know, do you want to confirm? Do you want to like, you know, save? Do you want to stay and save and exit? Do you want to save and continue? Do you want to exit without saving? Not that sort of stuff. It'd be good for that. So, first of all, what we want to do is outside of that class, we're going to create an enum. If you don't know what enums are, I recommend that you go and check out that video. And the enum, I'm going to call it users. And in here, I'm going to have. I'll have two movies. So I'll have a couple of movies that are actually coming out. Captain Marvel's coming out this week, it's coming out in two days in the UK, and this one. Oops, sorry. Let's see if Captain Marvel. And what else is coming out? Oh yeah. Shazam is coming out in a month as well. So, okay. So we've got these, you can add as many as you want, the more options, the more options you can potentially have in your dialogue and we need to create a future and this is going to be avoid and we're just going to say open dialogue so that's what we're going to call this method that will initiate the simple dialogue you can call it whatever you want open close bracket async because it's going to be async and that's curly braces and in here we need to put a switch statement Again, if you don't know what the switch statement is, feel free to go and you know have a look at my dark series and check out that part as well. But if you need any help, you know, just call me about it. And we can just put await, show dialog, show dialog. And this point is probably, you know, sorting out in a moment. In a moment. And I'm gonna put context. This is gonna be the default context that's, you know, passed through and now we're going to put builder. This is basically where the magic happens. This is where we're going to be customizing our simple dialogue. So we're going to put build context. It's going to have a contact. And in here, we are going to return a simple dialogue. And this simple dialogue will have a few different properties. We've got semicolon here. We'll get rid of this error very soon. And we'll have a title. We're going to have const. Text and you know this will this will be the title. So I'll, I'll say select a movie. So this isn't selectable. This is just you know this isn't clickable. This is tells you what to do. And then we'll add our children. And it's going to be an array of widgets. And we're going to add simple dialog options in here. Really only two properties. That you can really deal with unpressed and child. So let's just have a look at the unpressed first. So in the unpressed, you can obviously call another method. I'm just going to do an inline method right here. We're going to say navigator dot pop. That basically means close what's currently open. You know, the current dialog, which is the context and for the user context, and we'll say pass back. Pass back movies dot Yep, should be a certain polo, it's inside the method. And this is basically going to return you know, whatever that represents and will handle that very soon with another squish statement. But just bear with me. And what we're going to do now is that, sorry, the diff is still within the simple dialogue option. Add a child. And this child is going to be const text. This is going to tell the user what they're also to say and select it. So I'm going to say Marvel. So, and uh, now you just add another simple dialogue option. You can add as many as you want. This choice is pretty much the same. So instead of that, I'm going to have Shazam. 
And instead of the tech being Captain Marvel, I'm going to have it just like Shazam. And now, what do we need to do? We, yeah, we're all done in this part. We can go right here. After the double brackets, but before the closing curly brace, we need to add another curly brace. And now, you see the error disappeared. This is what's going to essentially get triggered once we close down that simple dialog option by selecting one of the options. And we can handle it by doing case, music. Remember, this is a switch statement. So usually, the switch statement would be switching on something really simple like a variable. Instead, it's switching on the dialog option, and more importantly, what you select from in that form. So as you can see, it's a very, very complex if statement. Miss switch statement. Movies dot Captain Marvel. So if they selected Captain Marvel, we are going to do break. And for that, we'll just do a code. You can put whatever code here you want. You can initiate a method that essentially plays the movie or you know whatever you want. But I'm going to say Captain Marvel selected. And now you can add any other cases that you have. In this case, I've got one for Shazam. Bam! And I'm going to say print. Shazam selected the break and if we were to save that can't reload it at the moment we can't do anything so we need a something like a button to have an event trigger to be able to initiate this simple dialog that's really simple so I'm just going to go down to the body and have any sort of you know gesture or input doesn't matter and have a child and have the icon button which could be a very simple button to add and it's an icon And the icon, I'm gonna say, is the monster play? Yep, yeah. oh, that one. And we are also going to need the on press event. In here, we are gonna say, open dialog like so. And now, if we were to hot reload it, so we get that, click it, we get this, so far we see nothing extra has been printed out, but I select Captain Marvel, it says Captain Marvel selected, if I go to it again, and I select Captain Marvel again, Captain Marvel has been selected, so if I do let's say Shazam this time, it says Shazam has been selected, and you know, that's really it for the simple dialogue widget, that, uh, class, that's all you need to do, so the thing that you only need to modify, you know, for yourself, once you've got this code is this enum obviously you might have more movies or you might have more options if you have more options some more simple dialogue options and you can have an on press you could have extra functionality here but chances are you just want this and the rest is handled here based on the particular option that you selected and that's it for the simple dialogue if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video